Ante Dillia in the blue trunks, Hena Fajera in the gray. A clash of titans here. A trip to the PFL Heavyweight World Championship on the line. Oh, Ooh. big swings early. Yeah, this is one of those fights. One shot could change the whole fight. A shot of a different kind puts Ante Dillia in on the hip of Hena Fajera. Nice double leg. He did go to his knees, and I thought that stopped a lot of his poor momentum to be able to bounce off this cage and finish that takedown. Ante Dillia already with a cut. It looks like in his hair somewhere, dripping blood right in front of our broadcast position. Kevin yeah. Florian cringing, doesn't want it on his fancy suit. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Good knee up the middle here from Dana Ferreira. Not unusual to see Ante Delia bleeding during the fight. There's Mirko Krokop inside the corner of Ante Delia. Strong, silent type in the corner. Nice elevation there for Delia, and he runs his feet to get Hena Fajera to the ground. Nice power to get him up in the air and then use his motion to drive through him and get him off his feet. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Fajeda tried to elevate the hips of Delia, not able to do it. Excellent control position there by Delia. Oh, look at this triangle attempt. Way too loose. Delia was able to read it and moves into side control here. The winner of this bout will advance to a championship against Mateusz Scheffel. He's there in the Bud Light Lounge enjoying his hard-fought victory. If Ante Dillia can win this, that would actually be a championship rematch. Dillia was able to knock Mateusz Scheffel out in the first regular season bout this year. Good ground and pound in the Croatian. Left hand coming down heavy. Yeah, Delia staying very aggressive. Fajeda trying to get back to his feet now. Better position for him with his back up against the cage. Let's see if he can cage walk back to his feet here. Nice job by Delia. Staying tenacious, staying on him, floating over him, hanging on to whatever he can hang on to to keep this top position. Yeah, he's taking, definitely taking the right approach here against Fajeda. Hammer fist with the right hand from Ante Dillia. Selective and violent ground and pound from the Croatian. And what's interesting is, you know, Fajeda representing Team Noguera and Dillia representing Team Krokop, really. And those are two legends that fought back in pride, Rodrigo Noguera against Krokop. Both their protégés now fighting each other. Take a listen inside the blue corner of Get your butt up. Renan, tem que bater a bunda e levantar, filho. Não, 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 Renan. Não aceita não, Renan. Não aceita não, You can't accept it. Vamos com você melhor aí do que ele, pô. You are better than him there. Você é melhor agora, é isso? You are a lot better than him right there. Impressive aggression here from Ante Dillia. Pouring it on with the right, and now the left hands. Staying heavy in his pressure, passing the legs. The pain off of Hera. He's absolutely relentless. And this is where, you know, the instincts that you learn in jiu-jitsu could really hurt you. He's tying himself into the position by trying to get to half guard, as opposed to trying to get his base to get back to his feet. And this is really hurting him. And we saw this in his last fight against Clifton Abreu. These left hands are significant, and now Hena Fajera turtled up. Hammer fist! Another trip to a championship bout for Ante Dillia. First round finish. Just relentless, tenacious performance by Dillia.
stayed on top. Best way to keep a guy from hand body, punch him in the face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what he would do. And then he'd block the punches, advanced position. So he was always doing something. Advanced position, punching. Non-stop. I should, probably let, I should probably let Randy tell you about ground and pound. <laughs> but one thing that's very impressive about the way that Ante Dillia engaged in his ground and pound, it wasn't just staying busy and making sure no. he got to stay on top. Every one of those punches had bad intentions behind it, and one of those left hands landed, changed everything for Hayna Fajera, and potentially changed everything for the life of Ante Dillia, who went out into the crowd to hug his brother, and a contingent of Croatians here who were singing along to whatever anthem Dillia <laughs> walked out to. I said, Kenny, I saw you singing yeah, along as yeah. well. I, I, I know yeah. it by heart, thankfully. Yeah. Great it was that elevation of Dillia. <laughs> he was able to stay up, capable, and pick his shots and make them count. Yeah. They weren't rabbit punches. They weren't little lay and pray type shots. There was heat on every one of them. He was trying to take them out, absolutely. An emotional, understandably emotional, Ante Dillia punches his ticket to his second straight BFL Heavyweight Championship. Here's the belt. body lock by Dillia. He pulls him off the fence, picks him up, turns his hips, and stays tenacious. Second effort secured the position for him. Here he is posturing up, pinning the head, trying to find big shots and land them on Henan Ferreira's head. He gets, he gets staying tenacious, staying in there, not giving Ferreira any space. Oh. And here is the ground and pound that finished the fight from an almost corner mount position. Hammer fists away, and the referee's seen enough. Those left hands in particular were just brutal. Wow. Ferreira complaining a little to the referee, but Co laying and covering your head is not a terribly intelligent defense, to be honest. Yeah. And there's a 250-pound Croatian man dribbling your head off the canvas <laughs> like a basketball. The referee is at least somewhat justified in stepping into your defense. Yeah, and it's smart by De Delia, right? I mean, he, he never relented. He kept that pressure on. Sometimes you see guys kind of wait around, slow things down. He kept the pressure when he had him hurt. He did see a more active Henan Ferreira this time than he was against Quincy right. Abreu. So he definitely did spend some time working on that bottom position, but it was just too little too late. Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. You see the 20 strikes that landed. It, it might have been more than that, 18 on the ground, but that one takedown is what set it all up. Ante Delia punches his ticket officially when we come back.